Hello everybody, Minecraft 1.20.2 is just around the corner because pre-release 1 has just come out. Now I don't know how many pre-releases are going to be in this specific section of updates, but the main things here are villager trader balance and a couple of recipe book quality of life changes. So let's start with the recipe book changes. So let, I'm just here in survival because I think it's easier to show you here. I'm just going to, you know, grab some wood. So what we're going to start off with here is we're going to make a crafting table, which, you know, doesn't unlock anything in and of itself. So one of the big changes they made with this is you can now find recipes that you haven't unlocked yet by using search. So if you're an experienced player and you know you want to make a grindstone, but you can't remember what it takes to make it, just look up grindstone in here and it shows up and it tells you exactly what you need, which is a stone slab. So then you can go get that stone slab. Overall, great change. I always forget to unlock certain recipes. Now that we're past that, uh, a couple of other changes here. Uh, the cartographer has some new changes to do with the rebalancing of villager trading, and I think those are overall good. I'll show you them right now. So in case you didn't know, to get a cartographer villager, all you need is a cartography table and a villager, and as you can see, he takes the job. and. We're just gonna buy a couple of things to level them up so I can show you this. So some of the first changes you'll see here is these new village maps. So if you wanna find a village in a specific biome or you just wanna find a specific biome, you can now. And how that works is say you wanna find a taiga village, you just you know buy the map. Same thing with the savannah village. So different villagers sell different things. I, I'll probably have up on screen a graphic from Mojang themselves but the highlights, you know, would be things like the desert, which the desert villagers can also sell you jungle explorer maps. Of course, you got the village maps too, which uh, I'll show you the savannah really quick. And the taiga should just be up in here, if I'm not mistaken. And as you can see, we are now at the village. I'd say it worked pretty well. Now let's go ahead and just, I want to go over to the savannah and show you guys some things over there, and then we'll... We'll go on uh, to our next feature. I love this little feature here because it encourages you to explore if you're looking for something specific. You just go find a village and they probably have a map for it. But also, I've been finding a lot of cool biomes as I've been just going by. Like these mangrove swamps, I don't typically ever get to see these. And so that's really cool. But also, I really like just how easy it is and it's not locked behind you know things like chunk base which I've had to encourage people to use more than once. So I overall really do like this feature and I think they should expand it to more structures. I don't necessarily know if they should you know expand it to... I have an invisible villager I think. Um, hello? He's here, he's just not here, you know? Anyway, the point is, I wanted to show you this. And as you can see, you can now get a jungle explorer map and a plains village map from this guy. And if I trade with him a little bit more, I believe I can also get a desert village map. Anyway, point is, you can now find all these cartographers and they can take you to different villages and whatnot. Pretty cool, I think it should expand to some other structures. A couple that I think it could really help with I think maybe it could expand to some of the smaller structures that still have some amount of purpose like desert temples. Possibly expanding that to even include ancient cities. I think while that might be a little bit overpowered, I think only certain villagers having access to a map like that, whether that be, you know, swamps or even jungles so you have to actually make the village yourself that way it's not super overpowered and you still might stumble across them if you are lucky but maybe you know you won't find anyway we're gonna move on to the next one uh really quick armors have been kind of debuffed uh more so nerfed than anything so now most master level armors buy iron blocks, which, you know, isn't bad. If you have an iron farm, it's actually really handy. Uh, I believe it's a 1 to 4 ratio, so one iron block gives you 4 emeralds. And it actually looks like there's also one for diamond blocks. 
Uh, so for the trader type Taiga Villager, uh, at the master level, one diamond block will get you 42 emeralds. So if you have a lot of diamonds for some reason, that might be worthwhile. Uh, a lot of their armor has been changed as well. So chainmail armor is now exclusively sold by the secret jungle and swap armorers. Uh, Savannah armors sell cursed diamond armor at reduced prices, and Taiga armor can swap one piece of diamond armor for another. Uh, so it it's pretty neat overall. I I think it's pretty awesome. Like I said earlier, probably a graph on screen that you can see from Mojang themselves. Uh, novice gives you emeralds, then apprentice you can start buying stuff. Their enchantments aren't great, but this next thing is going to kind of make the enchantments a little bit better in my opinion and this is partially why i think they should make it so they can sell maps of some kind for ancient cities because they have changed some of the loot tables here now there's a chance for an ancient city to generate with mending it's a much higher chance actually so let's just look in this chest right here you know your typical golden apple that you always get Let's see if we can find ourselves another chest. We're not going to loot the entire thing, but the point is we're just going to try to find ourselves some enchanted books here. These have leggings with mending, but we're kind of looking for the book. 20 minutes later. Well, the wording they chose to use was certain enchanted books now have a high chance of generating in some of these structures, and they chose ancient cities to have mending. Yeah, I have searched just about every chest. And I've been flying around in creative even, just trying to find said mending book. And I found plenty of like swift sneak books. I found plenty of pants that have swift sneak, mending, or a breaking, but I have yet to find any books. Well, there's one. They have proven me wrong. There is at least one in this ancient city. I don't know if I'm just unlucky. Oh, here's another one. Let's see. I don't know if I'm just unlucky or if Mojang has a bug going on. I don't know. It, it's, but this is the only book I've found so far. And obviously I haven't checked every single chest, but I have looked at most of them uh, by far. I've just kind of been flying around looking for any that I may have missed. And unfortunately, it looks as though that is not the case that I missed any in this may be a little too difficult. I think there should at least be two per ancient city. Maybe I'm unlucky though, and maybe it, there's supposed to be more. So I think overall, giving a little bit of a buff to the ancient cities is good. Giving them mending is good. Uh, just a couple of other changes they gave us were mineshafts now have efficiency one to five in some of their chests. Uh, pillager outposts have quick charge one to three. Desert temples have unbreaking one to three, and jungle temples have unbreaking one to three so overall uh i think this was a good change for that there were also a lot of bug fixes in this update i'll leave the change log down below if you want to see what all is there uh, but i think that was all the major stuff anyway that's it for me today i've been rambling a lot my next video i'm hoping will be a very awesome video and it should begin our new series so if you want to stick around for an awesome survival series be sure to stick around for that and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.